This is M0 AOV again uh, with the second part, hopefully. Just took the ATAS off and uh, kept it off for a few seconds. Now I'll have another bash and see if it's going to work. Let's just go off a little bit. Press tune. And yeah, that's working now. You can see it actually going up. And you can, I can just about hear it. So now that's fully tuned. So that's what I, th that's what I find quite weird. Um, you can go on to almost any other band. Let's go down onto uh, 17 meters. Now the ATAS is working, it's coming back down. I can just hear it in the background. Uh, it should be coming up now to about, there we go. So that's set as well. On to 21. Hear it going again, yep that's set. Go to 12. set no problem go to uh, 10 meters that's set as well go to f six meters just come off there a little bit and that's set so six meters as well set so let's go all the way back up go back up onto 20 and check now so I can hear the ATAS moving up and as you'll see it in a couple of seconds here it goes spot on no problem whatsoever so once the ATAS has been taken off uh, the mount and uh, just left off for a couple of seconds I think it's it's got to be something to do with um, uh, still either the earthing um, I thought I'd got it uh, earth enough and uh, I'm going to take it around to one of my friends as soon as I can and um, get him to check it all out with me but I thought I had enough uh, earthing connections there which it looks like now it's just when when it's been on uh, say if I come tomorrow and um, I try it again and then I have to take the antenna off and then reinstall it and then it all works again so every now and again it's more well, every time you're going to use it you've got to take it off leave it off for a few seconds then put it on and then use it it's a pain in the arse but uh, at least it can be used and as I say signal wise that's on 20 meters five and nine plus it's working brilliantly so as you've seen on the other other video the first one there's no way I could do it and get it to work uh, before taking the antenna off and then uh, waiting a few seconds then putting it back on let's go back to 40 meters I can hear it going on the, the back of the the car hear the antenna moving up or the screwdriver going up and should be coming up to it yep there we go see everything works it's all tunes so there's no problem at all tuning let's just see if it goes on 80 uh, probably won't no um, just wanted to check so that probably won't uh, but everything works on the radio absolutely brilliant radio don't have no problem at all just trying to get everything sorted out it's just come off that QSO don't know interfere with it while it's tuning so normally it's just coming straight down wherever it's supposed to go whatever band it goes up goes down no problem whatsoever uh, before I fully earthed it properly it had to go all the way up to the top stay there for a couple of uh, cycles then it come back down now I've earthed it better actually goes up to where it's supposed to do so if it goes up to uh, 40 meters the antenna moves up and instead of carrying back up uh, carrying on up 
uh, to come back down it just comes straight back down to 20 meters so I have no problem at all uh, doing that now so I think I'm nearly there but at least it shows uh, somebody else who's gonna try and do the ATAS that it does need a lot of bonding um, I'm nearly there but not uh, all the way hopefully that's helped somebody if you've got any comments just post them uh, anywhere at the bottom and we'll go from there and that's the 857D with the ATAS 120 and also a 2820 so that's working quite well at the moment as well I just changed the antennas because I had a problem with the antennas just pop that down and there's nobody on at the moment as per normal around this area nobody's really on um, so that's why I put the um, FT 857D in the in the car as well so when I'm out and about at least I can operate some radio got a couple of mics there they're all on the car uh, two, two hands free one for HF or the 857D and the other ones for the 2820 and um, on the Picasso they're all underneath the seat, uh, the driver's seat. So, right, I'll leave it there and uh, hopefully get some comments for you guys. Hopefully it might help. Okay, 73s for now.